What's up, Leo? It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your collective reading. What's up, my Ryan and Linus? I hope you guys are doing great. Send you guys lots of love, light, healing energy, and abundance. So let's hop into your reading, Leo. Let's see what's going on. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. Keep in mind that this is general and that it may not resonate with all of you Leos out there. Okay. So some of you guys can be a single parent. Um, you guys can be feeling friend zone. We have snatching souls. After the sex, you will be addicted. Okay, so you guys could be feeling friend zone by somebody. Maybe you guys have a baby by this person and they're acting funny towards you. Okay, um, but let's see, Leo. Let's see what's going on with you guys. All right, um, I hope you guys had a happy Thanksgiving. If I resonate, Leo, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And I follow, follow me on Facebook, guys. I also post on Facebook as well as Fire Intuition. And I'm on IG as Fire underscore Intuition. Okay, Leo? So let's see. Hours and hours. Okay, so it says, I love talking and texting with you all day and night. Okay, so let's see what we got for you, Leo. So we have hours and hours. Flexing on the X. Traded my old boo for an upgrade. We are a better fit. New boo, new sex, new energy. Okay. So they, they think they think you are an upgrade. You are a better fit for them. They feel like you definitely fit them better, Leo. Um, give me a couple more messages for Leo. Messages for Leo. We have not interested. Oh, damn. Bad sex, masturbation, single, no play. Damn. Are you going to kick them to the curb, Leo? Like, what's going on? Like, y'all are not interested or what? We're going to see what this is about. <laughs> okay. Um. And then we have that smart boo, baby. Okay. So, I feel like this not interested card, I'm going to pull it up. Because I feel like it's somebody that is, like, I don't know, Leo. I feel like you got this new boo, this new love. And I feel like you're really into them. Or they're really into you. And I feel like they don't want their ex or, like, the like the sex and the chemistry and all that stuff that you guys have. It's like, their ex, whoever this other person is, they don't have shit on this other person. You know, or, Leo, this is how you feel. Like, you're like, yes, new dick, new person, new energy, new everything. And you're just no longer interested. But then we have self-sabotage and we have possessive. And we have rainbow love. Some of you guys are in the same sex relationship. And we have bouncing back. So I feel like some of you guys are bouncing back to your normal selves and met this person. But I, with this self-sabotage, it just it spoke to me because it says, I have to reject you before you reject me. I always assume the worst. And that true love won't find me. So Leo, is that not interested card? You trying to find a reason to not like this person, to not move forward, to not have something with them? Look, it's still there. Self-sabotage. All right, I'm going to shuffle one more time and cut the deck. But, Leo, that's what I'm trying to be doing. Look, it's there again. Leo, don't sabotage something that's good, boo. All right? I'm going to stick this out and put this to the side. All right, so let's see. We have healing. I forgive you because I deserve peace. So maybe some of you guys are healing, Leo. Okay, and that may be it, all right? And maybe this new boo, this new person is coming in. You're really going to like them, but you may sabotage it, all right? But I'm not going to just throw it all on you. It could be this person as well, all right? So let's see what's going on with my Leos. Leo, someone rising, also Venus. Okay, let's see. You are their boo. They feel so good and so happy with you. You are a total upgrade is what I'm getting. So let's see. We have hours and hours. So let's see. Yeah, you guys can have sex with this person for hours too, Leo. So let's see. Hours and hours. Seven of wands. Yeah, I feel like you guys are fighting something though. Let's see. The death card. Hmm. Oh, Leo. Why is it seven of wands with the death card? Maybe you guys just got out of something. You know, we do have the healing card for your overall energy. Why is the seven of wands here for Leo? The ace of wands. Okay, yes. So, fighting it, but giving it a chance, giving in, seeing where this can go. All right. Um, I do see where you guys have been intimate for some of you guys. I feel like the first time wasn't, like, so good. 
But I feel like as you guys continue to talk and have sex, I feel like that is going to change. Are there just a lot different from your ex, like the past person that you guys were having sex with, Leo? Okay, let's see. Messages for Leo. Why is this death card here for Leo? Three of Swords in reverse. So you guys are healing over some type of ending. Yeah, and then we have the Knight of Cups. New love is here. So I do see new love here. This is somebody new, Leo. And you guys are healing from your past. Okay, so let's see. Why is this Knight of Cups here? So this looks good. So I feel like this new love, it's like you're going to be a lot more open to this situation, Leo. You're going to really give them a chance, you know, and be a lot more open to them. But I feel like right now you're still like trying to get over someone and you're healing a past. You're healing from this past relationship or whatever relationship you just ended. Yeah, see, look, the Queen of Wands. You just put yourself out there. So Queen of Wands, like putting yourself out there, you're ready to like move forward, attract new love. You feel confident you're ready. It's the Queen of Wands. So Queen of Wands is telling you that you're ready or like, you know, like you're looking very good, very attractive. Okay. So Six of Cups is in reverse. Overall energy, this is you focusing on the new, moving on from the past, no longer interested in the past. Okay. So yeah, let's see what this is about, Leo. All right. Let's see. Because you guys are looking like, um, it looks as if you guys are moving forward. And whoever this person is, like, you guys talk for hours. Okay? You really like them. You're really into them. But it's going to be after, like, some type of ending. Like, you definitely are healing a relationship um, that you just got out of or, like, healing. I feel like you guys been healing for some time. Maybe kind of scared to go into this new situation. But let's see, Leo. Messages for Leo. Flexing on the ex will a fortune in reverse. Yeah, so somebody has met you and is definitely ready to move on from their, their past. They're definitely ready to move on. They feel like their ex is like, you know, moving backwards. Yeah, going backwards. We have the King of Pentacles. Could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn that has stepped in or that has came into your life, Leo, that is ready to commit to you. All right, this person sees like commitment. They see you as potent, a potential partner. This person is stable. They offer security and stability. This person can even have their own business. Okay, or they see you like this. They see you as like a boss. They see you as like somebody that is like, like maybe you're an entrepreneur. You got your own business. They see you got money, stuff like that. I don't feel like this person is like wanting to use you, but I feel like when they look at the past and compare, they're like, oh yeah, this is a total upgrade. They're like, yeah, Leo is like definitely an upgrade for me. So let's see. Yeah, the chariots in reverse. Mm, let me see about the chariots in reverse. I feel like this person may feel like, is this really going to go somewhere? But let's see. It could be a Cancer or Sagittarius that you guys are dealing with. Let's see why the chariot is in reverse. Let's see why is the chariot in reverse for this um for Leo Flex on the X Ten of Swords in reverse. Oh, okay. So somebody doesn't want to move forward and wants to move on and start new. So I feel like it's this person that you guys are dealing with. We have the Seven of Swords here. Hmm. Why is the Seven of Swords here for Leo? I feel like you may feel some type of way, or you may be suspicious of this person, Leo. Let's see. I just send the swords here. Ten of cups in the tower. Wow. You don't trust it, Leo. And that's the problem. That's the issue. And that's why we have the not interested card. I feel like you're pushing away something that's good. Why am I saying that? Because the tower sometimes can be a blessing. It can be something that just comes out of nowhere. You know, something that we weren't expecting. Okay. And I feel like what you're not expecting or we're not expecting is a ten of cups. Someone that you can actually build and be with and have a family with our combined families or just like have a lot of love. Somebody that's going to really appreciate you and love you and care for you. And it might just be coming in the form of someone new or it's coming out of nowhere. And you're just, you're like, you don't know how to deal with it or handle it or accept it. You may feel like, no, they're, they got something going on. They got another relationship. They got another boo. Something ain't right, you know, and you're not giving yourself a fair chance. So, um, are you just not being fair to yourself? I don't see this as bad. The tower and the ten of cups, I don't see this as bad. This is somebody that you guys actually might marry, be with, settle down with, have children with. You know, um, they may be around your children, you're, you're around their children, and you guys are extending your family and building and growing. Ten of Cups is a very beautiful card when it comes to love, especially with the King of Pentacles. So let's go back to this Queen of Wands over here. Are you really ready, Leo? Like, is Leo really ready? Let's see. Why is this Queen of Wands here? This is something I feel like you guys have been manifesting. I feel like for some of you guys, you also put this energy out there in the new moon recently. Why is the Queen of Wands here? You've been waiting for new love. Let's see. Yeah, the King of Cups. Like, you've been waiting for real love, unconditional love. Somebody that's going to love you. Hmm. But we have the Three of Cups in reverse. This kind of is, a, like, kind of like, a, well, I wouldn't say the Aries, but somebody was in love with a friend or somebody was, like, or somebody still has feelings for the past. 
And that's what this is. It's either like a friendship or like somebody was in love with their friend or this is like, it's coming up as third party energy, but it's not third party energy is what I feel. I don't feel like you're in a third party deal. I don't feel like they have in a third party. I just feel like there's still feelings that you have for an ex. So it's like you're moving on and moving forward, but you're still holding on to the energy of the past. And that's why I feel like it. But I feel like you guys really do want real love and you want to be loved. Are you ready for love and ready to move forward? And I don't feel like you're going to get that with the ex or get that with the past or get that with whoever this person is that you're still holding on to. Or maybe that's how you feel. Let's see how the three of cups is in reverse. Yeah, I see three of pentacles. So many of you guys are like, you're going to choose this new person over the past and like actually let it move forward and go towards a commitment. But I feel like you're going to be scared and nervous at first. Okay, I don't feel like there's a third party. I feel like you guys are scared of this new beginning though. Okay, and I feel like because you guys have been lied to and manipulated in past relationships, you feel like this person is coming in to do the same thing. All right, I don't feel like they have you in a third party, but let's see, Leo. Does this person have Leo in a third party? No, mm -mm. and you need to look at it from a different perspective. And I feel like once you do, then you will see and realize that this person, you know, is like really into you and really likes you, Leo. That's what I'm seeing. Let's go into the um, not interested card. All right. So let's see why not interested is here for Leo. We have not interested, bad sex, masturbation, single, no play. So I feel like, Leo, like you guys could be single and dating this person, but I feel like you're acting as if you're not interested. And it could be due to fear. It could be due to the fact the three of cups reverse is like, oh, you know, short term relationships and situations that come into your life. So you may feel like, okay, is this going to be another little situation where, you know, I like them and, you know, blah, 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 blah. It's not going to go anywhere. But I feel like you guys need to change your perspective. All right. Before you really push this person out. Let's see why it's not interested here. We have the seven of cups. Some of you guys are keeping your options open. Um, let me see Queen of Swords. Some of you guys may cut this person off. Let's see, Leo. Why is the Queen of Swords here for Leo? Why is Queen of Swords here for Leo? The High Priestess in reverse. I feel like Leo, somebody secretly has feelings for somebody else. Um, why is why is the High Priestess in reverse? Could be a Pisces. Let me see. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Or somebody thinks that or feels that, but that's not the case. So if you think that they're still wanting their ex or still want to be with their ex, it's telling me they don't. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. They don't want their ex, Leo. All right? And it, it's like if they feel like that towards you, then it's like you don't want your ex. It's like whoever, you will know if it's whoever this is for. As far as like if it's you that's feeling like this towards them or them feeling like this towards you. Go into the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Know the star. Like this person is healing and moving on. I feel like this person is happy that they met you. We have the star could be an Aquarius. Yeah, but we have the Ace of Cups in reverse, and we have it with the Four of Swords in reverse. So, it's like, this is like somebody needed to wake up, realize that, like, you can't compare the past to the new, okay? And that don't think that it's a rebound situation, or this person is trying to play you, or, you know, trying to come in and use you, and stuff like that. That can be probably why this self-sabotage card is speaking to me, okay, Leo? So, we have, that's my boo, okay? So, it says, babe, love, infatuation, the one you talk about, okay? So, I feel like this person talks about you, okay? All right, let me see. That's my boo. Let's see, Leo. That's my boo for Leo. Let's see. We have the higher font reverse, yeah. I feel like this is the person that you're dating, but I feel like the relationship is still kind of open. There's no commitment, no title on it with the higher font reverse. It could be a Taurus that you're dating, Leo. We have the six of wands. I see you guys are still dating going out i see that this is something that's going to move forward but there's some there's some um five let me see you know, see like leo you got to know your self-worth and value you got to know that you deserve this because the five of swords to the queen of pentacles this is you in your head telling yourself that you deserve this and this is what you want but also like creating and making things up or starting to believe things like not saying that you guys are crazy or cuckoo no i'm a leo but i just feel like leo like you're putting stuff in your head and you're running with it like oh this person will never commit to me oh this person will never do this oh they're they're on some bullshit oh they didn't text me right back oh they had to cancel oh this and that Oh, now they got to get the kids this weekend. Oh, this. Oh, the baby mama. Oh, this. I feel like you're trying to find reasons. But at the same time, it's like saying, like, that may be also what you're needing to work on. Your self-worth and value, Leo. Okay? Like, and just know, like, 
I would just say, like, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out, Leo. And I know that's easier said than done. But don't put stuff in your head that's not true or that you don't know that is to, to be true. Okay? The Five of Swords is, like, inner conflict. But it's also you in your head. It's, like, you being your worst enemy. You know, you're making these things up. Because I feel like you guys really do want marriage. Okay? And stability and security. And we have it with the Eight of Swords in reverse and justice. And you will get that once you get out of your head and realize that, Maybe this person really does like you, and maybe you really are their boo, and this really is an upgrade, and you guys can talk and fuck for hours, and that there's a really good relationship between you guys. But the big thing is somebody sabotaging it. Okay, let's see why the soul sabotage card here. You may be feeling like, uh uh, I need to reject them before they reject me, you know, or maybe this person could be feeling like that, Leo, but I feel like um, if this is what you want, like, give it a chance and just see where it goes. Why soul sabotage here? We have the Eight of Cups in reverse. And we have a page of cups. For some of you guys, it has to do with the past. If you want this new love, I'm going to say it like this. Fuck the past, Leo. For some of you guys, I know you want the past. I know you want them to come back. I know you want this and that. So I'm not going to, I am i don't judge. I'm not going to judge. I'm like, oh, okay, well, completely just fuck the past. But I will tell you this from the cards and what I'm seeing. I don't feel like the past is going to give you what this new person is giving you. What you manifested, what you asked for. And I feel like a part of you feels like, oh, you need to reject them before they reject you because that's what the past used to do. Reject you, reject your offers, reject your love, you know, reject the connection, the relationship. You are the empress and you know what you deserve, okay? And it's like, when I see the flexing on the ex, it's like, it's like even your ex knows that. I feel like your ex even knows, like, that you are upgrade, that you are the empress, that you are the shit, and that you deserve to have anybody that you want. Okay, and we have the Ace of Swords, we have the Nine of Swords, I mean, sorry, the Nine of Wands, Nine of Swords, and I feel like it's because you've been through so much in your relationships, okay, so it's just like, and you're used to things not going your way, you're not getting the offer, people breaking promises and lying to you, and you being the one that's being understanding and stuff like that, but I just feel like you're not giving this person a fair chance, Leo, for some of you guys, okay, I know it's not going to resonate with all of you guys, but I feel like you're not giving them a fair chance, Leo, because for some of you guys, I feel like you really have like a good man or a good woman in your life. Somebody that's like a stand-up guy or stand-up woman. And they like you. They they like they're like they think you're like they think you're the total package, Leo. Okay? Like they talk about you all day. You're the total package, you're an upgrade, you're their boo. But it's like you may sabotage it. Okay? Because of the past and what you went through. Alright? I'm not gonna take all of these. That's way too many messages. Sorry, Leo. So let's see. Let me get a couple messages for Leo Spirit. What does Leo need to know in here? Then I'm going to see, um, pull some love messages, and then I'm going to pull a spirit message. All right, Leo? So let's see. Additional messages for Leo. We have... Okay, so feeling like it's hard to fit in. Caught in the middle. Cross, okay, let me see. Yeah, I feel like you feel like this, Leo, because I feel like every relationship you've been in, you feel used, or you feel like the one that always had something, or you're the, like, you feel like you always, like, were the one that kept the relationship going, or you had all the finances, or you always feel used, or mistreated in some type of relationship, okay, but I'm getting the king of swords, like, I don't know, I just get this person, it could be a Libra, I get this person as a stand-up person, you know, somebody that is going to be truthful and honest. Um, somebody that is actually, that actually really likes you and wants to move forward with you. All right. Um, and just keep in mind, Leo, that nothing is perfect. Okay. So let's see. We have spiritual, searching for a meaning in life, discovering the magic around your manifestation, the spirit realm. So I feel like the spirit realm is trying to reach out to you, like connect with you. I do feel like you've been manifesting a lot. And this is one of the things that you manifested, um, is this relationship. But I feel like when it says searching for meaning in life, I feel like some of you guys are like kind of feeling lost and needing to, Step into that Eight of Cups energy. I know you're gonna be like, what? Eight of Cups energy doesn't always mean like walking away, walking away from this person. No, but it's also talk. It also talks about self discovery. Some of you guys may just feel lost and like, dang, like, who am I? What am I all about? Am I on the right path? Like, am I really ready for love? Am I ready for this? Like, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? You know, you may just be questioning a lot of things, questioning the universe, God, spirit, whoever you guys believe in. You know, like, and I feel like, yeah, see the hermit in reverse. I feel like you just have a lot of questions and need answers. Are you just you feel like you're off? Like you just feel like you like you need to realign yourself or it's like maybe um somebody's giving you advice and you're not taking on the right advice you know or you just feel lost you feel like you need to do some soul search and go within okay so that can be it too leo maybe you're not seeing the bigger picture or seeing the relationship for what it really is 
all right and then we have at the bottom yes yes leo it says you have the green light go for it extreme satisfaction approval yes extreme uh, liking so it's like spirit is saying like yes like go for it like don't hold yourself back like go for it leo okay so let's pull some love messages and then i'm gonna end it with a spirit message okay leo for leo we have apologies someone wants or needs to apologize so there may be an ex or somebody that wants to apologize this can also be you leo maybe you're gonna apologize to this person because maybe you might push them away or something like that or sabotage it but who's to say i feel like this is more like future energy um but it could be your ex or somebody apologizing maybe that's the closure that you needed we have emotional intelligence Understanding your partner's love language and expressing your words will help this connection evolve. So I feel like you guys are going to probably apologize to each other. You're going to apologize to them and by look like, you know, I thought it was probably too good to be true or blah, 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 blah. I'm not sure what your exact words would be, Leo, but I do see somebody apologizing. And for some reason, I feel like it's going to be you, Leo. Let's see. We have energy. This person is a whole vibe. What did I tell you? So, Leo, this person is a whole motherfucking vibe. And y'all can talk for hours, fuck for hours. They love you. They talk about you. They brag about you to their friends and family. You're their boo, their new love, their upgrade. Y'all have the ten of cups like, Leo, what else could you ask for? What else? Don't let your ego get in the way. Don't be prideful. Don't let your pride or ego get in the way, Leo. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I'm a Leo. I get it. I understand. And this is exactly how I was when I met my fiance. I used to try to find reasons to push his ass out. And for what? There was no reason to. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I had to get over that. Like, I used to try to find everything wrong. Or the littlest things wrong. I used to just be like, oh, like, I'm deserving of love. And then be like, no, I'm not. And what if he does this? And what if he does that? And then I had to just tell myself, like, ah, shut the fuck up. And just enjoy it okay so sometimes you have to do that okay leo sorry that the sun is coming in but that's good because what we are the sun so i'm glad the sun came in on this reading to shine a light on your ass on this situation on things okay to let you know like this person they're like they're they are in love they brag they're excited about you all right so um let's see leo Give me a, a spirit message for Leo. What do they need to know in here? Okay. So we have number 32, which talks about breaking free. I mean, it talks about number, we break down to number five, which is all about change, but we have breaking free. So let's see, number 32. I'm going to hold the card up as I read. So maybe some of you guys are needed to break free, Leo. So it says, the power of the mind is an incredible thing. Wow. Leo, what did I just tell y'all ass over here with the five of swords? I said, stop being negative. Like, get out of your head. It's you're in an inner conflict. Okay, so let's go back. So it says the power of the mind is an incredible thing. Many scientists study studies have explored. Um, okay, hold on, wait. I'm not gonna go into all that. Okay. Let me go into the real meaning. Okay. The breaking free card asks you to believe in optimistic outcomes. Release yourself from your negative thoughts, which are Oh, deception in the artwork as a long, scaly serpent that tries to invade the mind with toxicity and pessimism. The hand of the goddess is soothing and extracting negative thoughts as she whispers in ancient, ancient language to help you shine your light in the world. When you draw this card, it means you have been living in your head for way too, I mean, way too much, overthinking and overthinking, sorry. A universal truth is that your beliefs create your reality. Once you understand this, you need to make a concrete effort to free yourself from harmful thought patterns. If your thoughts are dark and you are always entertaining the worst case scenarios, you are putting that energy out there and strengthening that possibility. Actively choose positive self-talk as it is a powerfully, it is a powerfully effective practice if you just start by giving yourself a simple compliment, you will change the negative thought frequency you you are stuck in. So the action for this says your mind can be trained just like a muscle. So if you find yourself taking a deep dive into the worst case scenario, stop and focus instead on what you want to happen, the best possible outcome, and notice how 
this shifts your mood, okay? Leo, what did I tell you guys through this whole reading? I said you guys were in your head. In your head, Leo. Okay, and it's time for you guys to break free from that energy, from those negative thoughts, all right? I love you, Leo. Let this person love you as well, okay? Somebody really is coming in and wants to love you and wants to show you love and give you love and support and be there for you, okay? Um, and this could actually go somewhere, all right, Leo? So enjoy it, y'all. I love you. If it resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. If you guys would love to book, fireintuition.com. Or you guys can book on my online shop, mytearsapealmyhearts.com. Stay dope, Leo. I will see you guys in your next Leo reading or um, on the channel in a collective reading. Bye, loves.